Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning in to Mass Appeal. I'm Seth. I'm Ashley. Do you slouch when you're standing? I you know do. when you're, when you're slouch sitting. When you're texting. Oh, when you're on yeah. your computer. It's a problem. Either way. Uh, Either way. We're going to help you improve your posture, make you like this all yes. the time. We're going to share some easy exercises to help you improve your posture. Joining us with tips, personal trainer Ryan Woods. We also have Adria here. She is a member of Enfuse Fitness in Enfield. Nice to have you both here. Uh, thank yeah. you for having us, Ashley and Seth. If I may say so myself, nice posture too. Although, is this your normal posture? Or Always. Or posture segment are you showing off? <laughs> uh, this is just the way I stand. What's the, what's the key to good posture? Um... Working on it, Seth. Okay. All right. <laughs> so we've got four quick exercises that we like to do in the studio that are really easy and gentle. Anybody can do them. You can do them at home. We don't have a lot of fancy equipment here. Adria is going to demonstrate. She's going to get down on her belly. And now, this is a very basic maneuver. This is, everybody at home can do this. Yep. There's a variety of different ways of doing this. You'll see people do this exercise when they lift their legs up, lift their arms up. But for this particular position, we're just going to have her keep her feet in contact with the ground. She's going to have her palms facing the floor. Those are also going to remain uh, connected to the floor. And all she's going to do is she's just going to contract her glutes and drive her body up very gently, not too hard. And she's going ahead and uh, let her head rest in that position right there. Reason why is now she's working the uh, the opposing muscles oh. that so many of us so it's need. It's like to an work inverse out. stretch. Yeah, so she holds that position for anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds. She's contracting the glutes, she's drawing in the abdomen, and she's breathing through the exercise. It makes sense. I mean, when you think about how it's countering what you typically do, the the problem too is you see people younger and younger slouching because of technology. Yep. So you know, it used to be just at your desk you would slouch, but now we really have to think about this at a younger age. Yeah, to be honest with you, it's kind of an epidemic at this point. We are very close to a chiropractor in Suffield and they do a lot of imaging on the spines and you can see that that curvature of the spine, uh, younger generations are losing it at a very very early age from texting like this all the time, sitting in a sitting at a desk, sitting in a chair, sitting in a couch, watching TV, mm -hmm. kind of slouched over. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a bummer because we can't stop that, but what we can do is something like this. Now, is this something uh, we can make part of our morning routine? You know, yeah. These wake up, have some coffee, do these four stretches? Yeah, these exercises are really simple to do. You can do them every morning uh, as soon as you wake up and then before you go to bed. I also like to balance. A lot of people don't balance enough. I know that sounds ridiculous, but this is a really good exercise, not only to, uh, to work the abdomen, the core, mm -hmm. uh, but to also gain a little bit of stability. So what ends up happening as we age, we lose mobility and stability and flexibility all at the same time. So all she's gonna do is just lift one leg up to approximately 90 degrees, let that heel drop directly under the knee. She's gonna go into the anatomically correct position where her palms are facing forward, shoulders are back and down, and she's gonna tuck her chin almost like you're trying to do a double chin, okay? So it's not a flattering position if you're getting <laughs> a picture taken. Um, but again, we can do this for 10 to 30 seconds. She's drawing in the abdomen every time she exhales. She's drawing the abdomen in, she's tightening it down. You can make any exercise that you do a core exercise by focusing on it, engaging it, and every time you exhale, drawing it in. Right, okay. that makes sense. So mm -hmm. what she'll do is she'll do that again for 10 to 30 seconds, then she'll switch sides. You can do that really quick. A lot of people will notice when they initially do this, again, heel underneath the knee, 90 degrees, abdomen drawn in. You'll notice that one side is more stable than the other. Okay, so mm -hmm. we're working on balance and symmetry. Now okay. over time, let's Rest. say you do this for a month or so and you're feeling really good about it. Do you want to increase your time? Do you want to increase the amount of rotations you do in something y like this? You, you could. You can increase in a variety of ways. Time under tension, so increasing the amount of time that you're actually doing the exercise. Or uh, what will happen is you'll see people actually draw their knee up and then you can just gently place, apply a little pressure to the knee. Oh. All right, so you have that as a kind of your resistance curve. Right, that okay. makes sense. Okay, what's the next exercise the that next you can do? exercise we're going to do is going to improve a little bit of that thoracic spine mobility. Um, this is where a lot of people start to get locked up and when they try to gain any kind of range or mobility in the spine, they wind up actually torquing the lumbar spine uh, just because of bad habits, bad posture. We don't want to do that because we don't want to cause any subluxations, herniations, and cause any discomfort well, uh, in the lower back. Spasms people are getting, a lot of people, probably because of the posture. Yep. The net bad posture. So she's going to get into her comfortable squat stance. She's going to put one arm down. All right. So what her goal is here is you want to Focus on twisting your feet. We talked about with that when we do our squats and deadlifts. Mm -hmm. Twist them into the floor, gently push the knees apart, squeeze the glutes, draw the abdomen in. But what we're doing is, is the rotation and the torque isn't coming from here, it's coming from the upper spine. We're trying to gain, yes, mobility in that thoracic spine and not the lumbar spine. We're trying to keep this as stable as possible, drawing in the abdomen and work here. Now this is one of those exercises where you don't have to be a hero. You don't want to try to work and push through pain or push through ranges of motion that you physically can't get to. You want to go to a comfortable range of motion just outside of it, hold that position, breathe through it, drawing in the abdomen every time you exhale, keeping the glutes tight and keeping all the systems in check while you're going through it and then you'll switch 10 to 30 seconds. Okay. Now if this is difficult, 
difficult. If people can't get down this far, another option is the chair. Go ahead, hop up. Yeah, so what winds up happening over here is this. Oh, pardon me. What happens over here is yeah, she doesn't yeah. have to drop as deep, okay? So she can just do that position, nice and gentle. She's keeping a nice locked out arm, drawing the abdomen in, and same exact thing. So she doesn't have to get as deep doing mm -hmm. this exercise, but then she can work her way down to a lower object on the floor. And as always, right. something's better than nothing. Yes. Now, lastly, we have a stick. A broomstick, anything you got at home? We've got one of these at and, our homes. Yes, in the fitness form, they call this a shoulder dislocate, which uh, is a terrible. It's a horrible terrible. word. It's awful. I'm just going to go with a, a broomy. A broomy. But, but this is good for shoulder <laughs> mobility. So she's going to go as wide as she can on the bar. Okay. Keep these elbows nice and locked out. She's going to apply slight external rotation. when she's twisting the bar like she's trying to snap it in the middle. Mm -hmm. And she's going to pull the bar apart. And she's going to raise it up. And she's going to go back as far as she can. Now, a lot of people won't be able to even go this far, okay? So when you feel that stretch, you're going to feel it right through here. In the mm -hmm. upper packs, the shoulder area, you're going to draw the abdomen in, twist the feet into the floor, tighten the glutes, okay? And just hold that position 10 to 30 seconds. Now, she's got pretty good shoulder mobility. So she can go all the way back. Wow, you go, girl. Ooh. Okay? But this is, once again, uh, don't We're be not a rushing hero. it. Oh, my gosh. We're not rushing it, okay? And I know this looks like a circus trick, but a lot of people will be able to do this very quickly. Are you, you serious? You want to try? I think I'm stopping here. All right, Ash, come I, over here. Step up. Okay, you step do Step up to Thank the Thank you so much. Cage. In the meantime, uh, well, Ashley hopefully doesn't hurt all the way, herself. All the way to the end. I don't have a, a, a co-host on deck. Push unless it out in front of you. Andrea could rock Lock it. those elbows and go ahead. Let's see where you got. Draw the abdomen in. Tighten the glutes. Keep going. That's no, good. Don't want, I you're not, <laughs> see that? See how you're starting to struggle? That's too much. A little too much. Bring it back a little. You know what we're going to do? Why don't we check in with 22 News Storm Team Meteorologist.